this is Dr. Paul. Today I want to talk a few minutes about establishing intraosseous insertion. So basically intraosseous insertion that is IVO axis. Many times when there is shock or when there is severe dehydration you have to give IV fluids but unfortunately sometimes we do not be able to get intravascular access then we have to go for intraosseous that is into the bone access so there are certain facts to remember in infants for example you immobilize the leg with one hand and then twist the tibia a little bit laterally and then insert the nadir. So that is very uh, evident from this. So you go for the tibial tuberosity. So you put the leg with a slight external rotation then identify the tibial tuberosity and it is just below the knee joint and go for the flat part of tibia about one to three centimeters below this bony prominence and then clean it. Remember to clean it, the universal precautions should always be followed. Uh, so clean this area, disinfect it and uh, then take the needle with a stylet and then go. Leave the stylet in the needle during insertion because you don't want the needle getting clogged with bone or tissue. So stabilize the leg and uh, do not place your hand behind the leg but place it in front. And then now for example if you don't get a good needle you can always go for an 18 gauge large bore hypodermic needle. But remember its lumen may become clogged with bone or bone marrow during insertion. So when you use these 18 gauge needles, always make sure they are in the marrow. So many times you will see bone marrow coming out or blood coming out. Or when you attach it to a syringe and uh, uh, do a IV, uh, sorry, I will push, the fluid will enter easily. So those are the things to remember in infant. And in adolescent, you can even go for the lower end of the femur. So you can give like on the tibial tuberosity, also you can go to the lower end of a femur. In a child, you can go for the iliac crest. There are like anterior superior iliac spine, then the iliac crest and the posterior superior iliac spine. So any of these things would do the job. But these are more easy to find, these uh, distal tibial site and proximal tibial site. So remember those landmarks in an infant tibial tuberosity and proximal tibia or distal femur in older children and then the iliac crest in a child and also stabilize that's very important and once you put the needle you should be able to stand freely and then make sure it is in the bone marrow like what you can do is like try to aspirate a little bit using the syringe if you see the bone marrow or blood then it is there or you can also do a fluid push when you do the fluid push the fluid should go easily and another indication is as you go through the bone suddenly the resistance will be lessened like you will be going against uh, resistance for a while but once your needle reaches the bone marrow you suddenly feel a let go that means like the resistance will completely down and you will go easily from that point onwards 
So those are the important points about establishing intraosseous axis. A lot of infants and children, unfortunately, will require this process. It looks very crude, but it could be life-saving when you cannot establish an intravascular axis. Thank you. This is Dr. Paul Kattapalli. Please subscribe to our channel.